Welcome to Pastor on Call. I am Pastor Mike. So good to have you on board with us today. This uh, topic is probably for me one of the greatest lessons that I have learned over the last 25, 30 years of serving in ministry. I'm titling it Winning by Being Beaten. And if you search on my channel, you'll actually see my 35 minute sermon I preached on this as well. Let me give you the foundation to this. Uh, um, a, a few months ago, a, a very dear pastor friend of mine called me on the phone just after he had been accused by another pastor of being judgmental. The pastors were just supposed to get together for coffee, but the other pastor who confronted him had other plans in mind. As soon as this pastor confronted him about being judgmental, this friend of mine who called me was outraged, upset, and hurt. And so hurt that he contacted me on the phone just moments after uh, the accusation. And as soon as he called me, he told me how he felt, how angry he felt, how hurt he felt. And apparently he walked out of the restaurant not as even, not even as much as a as a goodbye by his accuser. He was just so upset. So he called me on the phone and I said to him, and he told me how upset and hurt he was. He, he was devastated. And I said to him, brother, you fell for the bait. And I said, brother, if your accuser pointed out to you that you're judgmental, you are judgmental because we have all fallen short of the glory of God. Now stay with me, stay with me. What I meant by that is I was referencing, referencing the scripture in Matthew 5.23, where the Lord says, agree quickly with thine adversary. Let's read it here, what the Lord said. In 5.23, says, agree with thine adversary quickly, while thou art in the way with him, lest at any time the adversary deliver thee to the judge, the worldly judge, and cast, and the judge deliver thee to the officer, and thou cast thee into prison. He said, do it quickly. Pay attention. Right then and there, swallow your pride. See, it's hard going down first because we're programmed to try to win the argument. He says, no, lose and you will win. Don't try to win. Amen? Don't try to win because if you do, you will lose. Because if you don't, listen, the inevitable process of an unrighteous judge in this world will judge you. When somebody brings you before a secular judge, that judge does not study the facts. They study the legal arguments. The better case wins, not the truth. Satan knows your argument about you not being judgmental is very weak. And when your argument is weak, and it always is, pride causes us to try to compensate by getting angry. After this pastor humbled himself, gosh, I hope you pay attention, and contacted his accuser, he thanked him humbly for pointing out his sin. And since he did that, the anointing of the Holy Spirit intensified like no other time before in his ministry. The art of winning by being beaten is faster than a speeding bullet. So here's the science to it. Here's the secret sauce. Are you ready? 
God is waiting to use you in spite of your handicaps, in spite of you being judgmental, which was pointed out by your accuser. I'm allowing God to use my handicaps and my imperfections to bring him glory. Until God anointed Paul by the Spirit, he asked God to use someone else. Until God anointed David, he asked God to use someone else. Until God anointed Moses, didn't he ask someone else to use him because he stuttered? Until God anointed Abraham, he asked God to use someone else because he was too old. God does not anoint silver vessels or gold vessels. He anoints humble vessels. I'll say this to you in close. If you think the power of God rests on people who live holy lives, you are wrong. God will never anoint you because you're perfect. God will never anoint you because you live holy. God will never anoint you because you rid yourself of that judgmental spirit. God does not anoint someone based on works, lest any man should boast. God anoints dead people, and Satan cannot hurt a dead man. I hope you learned the mystery of winning by being beaten. It works every time, I promise you. May God bless you. Don't forget to put those comments below. I'd love hearing from you on this one. And please don't forget to subscribe. See you guys around. Take care. Bye-bye. God bless. I hope this video was a blessing to you. And if it was, please don't forget to subscribe below and put your comments down there as well. Also, if you are interested in making a donation to this ministry, uh, please go ahead in the description box. There's a link down there for you to make your donation. Also, please check out our website. It's also in the description box as well. May God bless you. Thank you for watching. See you around.